All right, I'm going to call this regular meeting of the Board of Trustees of the Corsican Independent School District into order. And the first item on our agenda is the Pledge of Allegiance. the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible.
um, and confirm these figures. If uh, no one has any questions, I will accept a motion. We have a motion and a second that we certify and confirm that the figures on the tally sheets correspond with the figures on the returns. All in favor? Aye. All right. So our next item is oath of office. Mr. Farmer.
Okay, we are going to skip around tonight because you can see we have a house full. It's exciting. So we're going to um, skip to letter G, Camp Curiosity.
share his insight why he chose the best path. <laughs>
And because they're going to be in this country for days, and um, they had their nation's flag and all the food, and we're actually going to sit down and have a problem based solution style C summit, like a UN summit for our children. Where they're already in the and learning about other cultures and learning how to have a lot conversations. So we crossed the um, the teeth. Many others, yes, I did. Um, and we're super excited about the kids getting this opportunity to explore the world around them, to learn about other cultures, and then to problem solve because they are our So we're excited about our C Summit. Thank you all very much. So we're very excited that this summer we'll probably have about 245 CISC students coming through our camps. Hope to expand that next year to more, but we're very excited about the first ever Camp Curiosity. And to wrap it up, we do have our um, chef who was going to deliver some homemade cookies. I do have to thank Miss Haley. Uh, this is one of her special recipes that will be, uh, the kids will learn how to make this in the camp this summer. And so you have to get to taste test the first round of cookies. Thank you all very much, and we do appreciate y'all being here. Do you have room for seven more people in your camp? <laughs> Absolutely. I think we all want to participate. Yeah. I'm really, really off into uh, taste testing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you don't want to come down? for any child in our district, for eighth grades three through eight. Um, and they can sign up online on our website. There's a link, I guess, on the front of it that sends them straight to That's Camp right. Curiosity. If they have any questions about this camp, can they, is there a, an email or something? There is, that can yes. Be, right? And Veronica is going to be pushing out another social media awesome. solution, so we're going to continue to circulate that through until we are at capacity. Um, I do have to shout out again our teachers. Uh, the first week of putting this out, we had more teachers than we knew or thought would even even step up to do this. And this is their curiosity and design, and we are so very excited about this. So thank you all very much for your hard work. Thank you. <laughs> Before you went off, can we do a real quick group picture while you're all up there? Can you just turn and face this way, and then we can get some more advice. The taller ones stand up there. Don't get stand up here.
the curriculum and videos will be available for parents to preview. Um, and, and that was important to us as we were going through it. The time seemed wild when I tell you we're going to do the videos here and there, but be transparent with the parents and the community and for them to get to see and listen to every, everything that their children are going to be privy to and it's going to be uh, presented to them and supported to, to all of us. Uh, lessons will be taught by nurses or trained individuals. Students will watch the videos on their computers in the classroom. Uh, that's that's something that we want to take the offices out with. Uh, students will be on individual laptops uh, with headsets on, so that we can privatize that for them and not be not be uh, quite as embarrassing for them with some of the information that they'll get. Uh, the lessons will not be co-ed, and uh, the lessons will be taught in the spring semester. Just so you know, that will make more sense here in just a second. So, fourth grade, here's, here's what your curriculum is going to look like. Video for the boys is titled Personal Hygiene, Hygiene Habits. Video for the girls is, is titled uh, I Am Normal. CISD will make videos to discuss age-appropriate topics of adolescent development to fulfill 100% of the seats that we've got to fulfill by the state. What we're going to do is, on all new, additional, or questionable uh, information that we're going to present to the kids, we didn't, like, we didn't like the thought that it, it wasn't going to be totally uh, consistent throughout the district. So what our plan is, is going this summer, we're going to create videos, uh, in particular for fourth and fifth grade, uh, using uh, kids at the high school, kids at the middle school, uh, teachers, leaders in the district to play roles in those videos to make sure that these issues and these topics that we've got to go over with our kids are explained uh, the right way. Appropriate way, and that they're all getting the same thing when we, we roll that out. That, that was very, very important to everybody involved in this decision. Um, in fifth grade, CISD will continue to use the video titled Always Changing. That's, that's uh, currently something that we've been using with the kids, and we'll make our own uh, video over fetal development to fulfill 100% of the teams. Uh, and again, that will be a CISD produced video. It will be the only thing that's been shown to our kids. Uh, and, and, and it'll be for your eyes too before we ever roll anything down. Again, remember, we don't do this until the spring. So we've got this summer to create videos and then uh, the fall to, to uh, make any changes or do anything that as a group we see would be better for the kids. In sixth grade, the Hope, Hope Center staff will use a curriculum called Choosing the Best Way. CISD will use the fifth grade lesson. Uh, to fulfill 100% of the teams. And that is all that we're going in fifth grade. Those lessons through the Hope Center uh, are currently going on right now that went on this spring. Uh, I feel like they're appropriate uh, as, a, as an employee and as a parent. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's, it's a good group of people that comes in and does it, and I think the information is appropriate as well. Uh, at CMS, the Hope Center staff will use a curriculum called Choosing the Best Path. CISD will use the videos uh, from uh, Marsh Media titled Growing Up, we built 100% of those peaks, uh, and, and those are currently in use as well, and we've not had any issues until like they're totally appropriate uh, for, that, for that grade level. Are there any questions? had a choice this is not a choice but what was a choice was how to present it and how to do it in a way that we believed was fair inclusive and good for our parents and our children and I think y'all 
come up with a great idea. I know it's been a lot of work, and um, as a parent, I'm I'm a, I'm glad. I mean, I, we both have you do too have a child in seventh grade that just completed the Hope Center thing, and I was very pleased with it. So, thank you. All right, on the consent agenda, I think we do need to make one notation. Um, we show that it's consent agenda and it's showing at 411 when the meeting was actually 418. We can make that one change. Does anybody have any other changes to it? If not, I'll accept a motion. I move that we approve the consent agenda. Right. All in favor as approving the consent agenda with that one honor change. And all in favor, aye. Uh, all right. We are going to go into closed session as permitted by Texas Government Code Section 551.01. We will come back after that and um, complete letters.